Now, we've all become coffee snobs, and as a cup of instant becomes a distant memory, we want Swisher and Swisher gadgets. Enter the pod coffee maker. Also enter editor of Food Waitrose Food Illustrated, William Sitwell. Now, William, we have tried uh, ten of these pod coffee makers. You've narrowed it down to three that you like. First of all, what is a pod coffee maker? Well, it's an interesting question because, as you said earlier, I mean, it is amazing. People are still drinking instant coffee, which is a heinous crime and, <laughs> and, and is out there with kind of Morris dancing and other disgusting British activities. These are proper coffee machines. If you want a proper cup of, cup of coffee and you really believe in your coffee and you believe in flavour, you want these. Now, these things here, these are pods. Okay. Right. So this is what makes it different to say a cafetiere yeah. or... Yeah, where you're pouring coffee into a machine and then doing the plunging thing. This will give you a really great hit of some of the best kinds of coffee that are out there on the market. And there are these, these are three machines that kind of vary in, in price to the kind of low end. This is the Braun Tassimo, mm -hmm. which is the cheaper one. And it doesn't do the kind of frothing stuff that you might want to do. What these little pods here do, um, and this machine is about £80, £79. Right. You, this, they have a little cheeky little barcode, okay. which will tell the machine exactly what, what's, what's going into it. And so you, you pop that on down there, and then you press this button here. And then it always has this little moment of pause, where you get a little bit scared, is it going to work? But it will, and it will start gurgling and so on. But here it goes, okay, listen to that machine. It's a, it's a nice cheeky little pulsating beat. <laughs> and then this is almost it. It's ready to come out. Okay. Do you like uh, espresso? No, I don't actually. But I'll I'll give it a go. I'd rather have a bit of milk in it. So I'm, I'm not yeah. allowed to have milk in it. Okay. This will this will. Well, I'm going to make I'm going to make oh, you a macchiato hot. at the end, which is when you froth the milk. But what do you think of that? It's actually quite nice. Yeah. Now this machine is also actually makes tea, which is an extraordinary idea. The idea you spend eighty pounds and use put in your Twining's English breakfast. For a cup of tea. For a cup of tea. I mean, I mean it's uh, quite eccentric. I suppose if you drink a lot of coffee, it's a good idea. Just, to, just, just before we move on to the next one, if you do want a, a cappuccino or you know, yeah. your lattes or whatever, other, if you're not mad on espresso, is this machine not, not going to no, work? No, you can, because basically you can buy individual pods that will, will, will already have mixed in the milk and the other flavours. And it's going to be a dry powder. It will be, yeah, milk. so you're not going to get the best quality. So, no. I mean, in terms of just, if you like espressos, mm -hmm. then this is probably you know, in its yeah. purest form, you know, it's going to deliver what you want. It's definitely an espresso. Yeah. Right, OK, moving on. Machine this, number two. Yeah, this it is looks the, very nice. It does. This is the Bodum Granos. It has this nice cheeky little dome here. What goes in here? Well, I don't know if you like warming your cups. Oh, stop but you it. can you can warm your cups in here. Shall I show you? It's, and you can kind of look at oh, that. Oh, my word. The idea of actually warming your cup before you make the coffee. That's so pretentious, now, William. this uses one of these um, little... Chats. How much is this going to cost? Well, this is about £299.99, <laughs> so you've really stepped up from that one. But this, it kind of gives you a bit more of the kind of um, cafe experience. So that looks really easy to get yeah, that on it there. It is, it is, actually. OK, um, it's off. But you've just got to, you, you've got to yank these things. You know, you've right. got to, don't be afraid. Because when you watch people in cafes, you know, they, yes. do, they, they really get stuck True, in. True, the baristas. Yeah, the baristas, that's half the fun of it. And how long would this take to heat the water up? You need to really give it 20 minutes so that it's at it's sort of full capacity. But, um, you know, anyway, have a, have a little sip okay. of that one. OK. These pods, I mean, you buy them in bulk, but they're, it's about 20p a pod. I preferred the earlier one, I have to yeah. say. That's quite bitter. That's quite bitter espresso. Um, but then, you know, espresso is supposed to be bitter. Yeah, so. but it tastes like instant coffee bitter. You know, like yeah. black, co black instant coffee. Yeah. Well, look. Not a fan of that. Let me draw you away to the. This is this is the master of all these machines. Um, this is this this is this made by Siemens, and what it does is you can only use these particular little pods, and what you do is you actually join a kind of society of, of <laughs> pod users, and I mean it's a bit like you know throw away your you know the playing <laughs> you know you don't put your keys. You don't swap keys anymore, you swap these ideas and you, you join the internet and you get sent these things. And look at that beautiful little box you can get, you know, Arpeggio and Roma and Decaffeinato, Intenso and Levanto. It's and, so ridiculous, William. But then just this machine is so cool because what you do is you press this thing in here and then you press a sort of button and it goes in like a kind of cheeky little cuckoo clock. <laughs> and then it starts making this great noise. And this machine has a, a volume control. Mm. So you can actually turn up the oh, amount of noise it, it makes. 
Well, well, so that if your dinner party guests don't know you have yeah. this incredibly flash coffee maker, yeah. you can turn the volume up so yeah. that they completely yeah, understand. You, yeah, you can crank it up and, okay. and people will just remember you forever for that. So anyway, I'm going to make you... How much is it? This one is quite expensive. It's £479.99, pence, which when, you, when you, you, know, you narrow it down with, and you add up the amount of money you've got to spend with your pods, How it is an expensive pods cup pod? of coffee. They're about 26 to 28p each. Okay, and the ones for the previous one were about 20p a yeah. pod, so it, they're yeah. actually not that dissimilar. No, they're kind of compatible. This has quite a fun little device as well. If you want to um, start making a little frothy milk, oh, lovely. what you do is you take out your cup yeah, and you put it there. And then you press this button here. Do you think most people buy these and then they gather dust on the work surface and never get used? Yeah, I think it's the sort of thing that you give someone as a wedding present. Mm. And they, they get really enthused and really excited. And then after a while, they just can't be bothered. I know. I um, had a cappuccino machine and exactly the same thing happened to me. So anyway, this is great because what it does is it takes the, the milk out of the uh, little jug and fits it. That's really messy. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to turn that off. Right, and then you then have a macchiato. If you can sort of. Sort of. Do you think it would make that mess all over the kitchen every time? Well, yeah, well, because it, it does that, you know, it's, it's noisy. But anyway, there you go. It's all right. I mean, you can always put the milk straight into this vessel here, which might be slightly safer. Yeah. But I'll put it's... it straight into the cup. I have to say, I think, um, I think my favourite was the first one. Yeah, it is simple, but remember, you can't froth with a Tassimo. And that's a fabulous line to leave it on, but quickly, which is your favourite? You know, I just love this because I you love the way... You look so pretentious, I, just love I the knew way, you were going to say I that. I love the way you froth the milk and I love the way this little <laughs> thing... It, it takes the pot inside and it puts it into its own little trash can and it disappears and it's like magic. And look, my friends are going to be so impressed when I turn up with one of those little mini suitcases. William, honestly, we're going to get another glimpse into your strange world a little bit later because you've been doing some organic online shopping for veggies. Yeah, which is very us. interesting. Uh, organic box schemes. Yep. Brilliant. OK, great. Also, still to come, more Indian delights from Manju Mali and a shock revelation that wine is the new beer, or at least where curry is concerned.